Welcome back to my channel where we break down everything you need to know about engines, maintenance, and performance. Today, we're diving into a supercharged topic, how to increase the compression of your engine. Why is compression important? Well, a higher compression ratio means more power, better efficiency, and a snappier throttle response. But push it too far, and you risk detonation or engine damage. So, how do you strike the perfect balance? Stick around, we'll cover everything step by step. And as always, drop your questions in the comments, and we'll tackle them in a future video. Let's get started. What is compression ratio? Before we jump into the mods, let's break down what compression ratio actually is. The compression ratio is the ratio of the cylinder's total volume when the piston is at the bottom of its stroke BDC to the volume when it's at the top TDC. Here's the formula. Compression ratio CR equals cylinder volume plus combustion chamber volume. Example. If a cylinder has a total volume of 600 cc and a combustion chamber volume of 60 cc, a higher ratio squeezes more air-fuel mixture into a smaller space, leading to a more explosive combustion. Question for you. What's the stock compression ratio of your engine? Let me know in the common. Benefits and risks of increasing compression. Why should you care about compression? Benefits. 1. More power. A denser air fuel mix burns hotter and faster. 2. Better efficiency. More complete combustion uses fuel more effectively. 3. Increased torque. Especially noticeable in naturally aspirated engines. Risks. 1. Detonation, knocking, uncontrolled explosions can destroy pistons. 2. Heat management issues. More compression generates more heat. 3. Fuel octane sensitivity. Higher compression needs higher octane fuel. It's all about balance. Let's explore the ways you can increase compression safely. Ways to increase compression. Let's break these down one by one. 1. Milling the cylinder head. What it does. Shaves material off the head to reduce chamber volume. Result. Increases compression, but be careful not to overdo it. Pro tip. Use a degree wheel to correct cam timing afterward. 2. Installing high dome pistons. What it does, the dome shape reduces chamber volume. Result. More compression, more power, but may require valve relief cuts. Question for you. Would you rather mill the head or swap pistons? Drop your choice below. 3. Using a thinner head gasket. What it does, decreases the distance between the head and the block. Result, a small but noticeable compression bump. Bonus, super budget friendly. 4. Decking the block. What it does, shaves the top of the block to raise the piston closer to TDC. Result, increases compression, but may affect quench clearance. 5. Smaller combustion chambers. What it does, reduces chamber volume through head swaps or custom machining. Result, a big compression increase, but costly and complex. 6. Camshaft timing adjustments. What it does, changes intake valve closing timing. Result, later closing raises dynamic compression, adding more punch. Note that compression isn't just a mechanical game, your engine management needs to keep up, too. Must have mods. Higher octane fuel, prevents detonation. Ignition timing adjustments, fine tune spark timing. Cooling system upgrades, manages extra heat. Example build. Imagine you have a Honda B16A with a stock 10.2, 1 ratio. Milled head 0 0.020 inches, right pointing arrow county root 10.8, 1. Dome pistons plus 4cc, right pointing arrow county root 11.6, 1. Thinner gasket 0 0.018 inches, right pointing arrow county root 11.9, 1. Result 30 plus HP gain but you'd need 98 plus octane fuel and a careful tune to avoid knocking. That's your roadmap to increasing compression like a pro. Whether you're building a track monster or squeezing more power from your daily driver, it's all about understanding your engine's limits. At this point, what compression ratio are you aiming for? Have you tried any of these mods? Which method would you like us to show in a live workshop? Hit that like button, subscribe, and let's keep wrenching. See you in the next video, stay boosted.